Hey guys, what's up? It's the Tech Hacker here, and today I'm going to be showing you an extremely easy and very handy tutorial for a PSP, and that is how to install CXMB on 5.50 Gen A, B, C, and D. I guess so the requirements for this is a PSP that's running any version of 5.50 gen A, B, C or D and uh, as I will show you in a second I am running 5.50 gen D3 uh, alright there you go 5.50 gen D3 alright what you're going to need to get are um, two things, but one of them is optional. The first one is the CXMB installer, uh, and the other one is the theme pack, the CXMB, uh, aka CTF theme pack. CTF is just a file extension. For normal themes, you need uh, the file extensions are called .ptf, and for uh, custom themes or CXMB themes, the file extension is .ctf. So I'll have a bunch, it's uh, 20 themes that are like really sick that I liked a lot. And I take no credit for this. I'm, I just put them together and I put it for a download for you guys. So I take no credit. All the credit goes to the owner. But uh, I will upload the 20 cool CTF themes on Mega Upload. And also the CXMB installer for 5.50 Gen A through D3. I'll, those two will be on Mega Upload. So the first thing you want to do is download the CXMB installer from the link in the video description on your right then you're going to want to connect your PSP to your computer with a USB cable now let me show you this is a USB cable for those of you guys that don't know it has these two plugins this is what you're gonna plug into your computer right here and this one you plug in to your PSP. Now, your PSP might go into USB mode depending on what kind of PSP you have. But if it doesn't go into USB mode automatically, you're going to want to just go to the settings, go down to USB connection, click X, and it should work. Now, on your computer you should get something like this it says removable disk whatever you're gonna want to memorize that disk uh, letter and then on the bottom it'll say open folder to view files so you click on that and this is the root of your uh, memory stick but you don't really need this you don't need the root right now you don't need that for this tutorial all you're gonna want to do and it's so simple so easy is go to that CXMB installer so open that up click allow and right here it says destination folder you're going to want to browse go to uh, computer and then whatever drive that was oh sorry I didn't I disconnected from USB mode let me just connect again there it is that drive removable disk G or whatever drive that you guys have so you're gonna click on that drive and you're just gonna click OK you don't click onto any of those folders you just click that drive click OK and then right there it should say install you just click on that and in a couple seconds you will have CXMB installed on your PSP alright that's it you just click close when it's done and then back on your PSP, all you're going to want to do is uh, cancel out of this. And you can unplug your PSP. Now just completely turn off your PSP. 
So you're gonna hold down the power switch until the screen shuts off completely. So keep holding it down all the way and then the light will shut off. Turn it back on and hold R trigger. So hold that down. Power button. And that's the recovery menu. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is go down to plugins. And then cxmb.prx. It should be enabled, but just in case it's disabled, it'll look like that. You're just going to want to go down to it, click X, should be enabled, hit back, and hit exit should reboot your PSP with CXMB installed onto it. So this is just, uh, I think it just picks one of the random themes that are already installed. But if you didn't install a theme, it will install one on there for you and that will be uh, this one. By the way, this is included on, in that theme pack with a whole bunch of other cool themes. I think this is the one, let me show you, that actually comes automatically with the theme. Hold up, let's see. I think it's this one, yeah. It'll be something like this. Depending on what color you set your PSP to, it'll be different. But it should look like something like this. Alright, so that's basically it with this tutorial. Um, once again, the theme pack right here, if you can see it. I have 20 really sick CTF themes. You just, all you have to do, let me show you. All you have to do is uh, plug that in. Once the root of your memory stick comes in, pops up. you will drag and drop I don't know if you want all these themes but all you're gonna do is drag and drop the selected themes that you like into your PSP theme folder so right there's PSP theme if you don't have that folder created it's all capital so it's theme and then you just drag and drop all of these into your PSP's root your theme folder and it should be under the theme section of your PSP and you can just uh, install into there Alright, so that's basically it. Once again, I don't take credit for any of these themes. And let me just show you one of my favorite ones that I like a lot. If I could find it. I like this one a lot. I think it's called Large Icons. This thing is awesome. Gotta admit. And I saw this a while back, and this this is what actually like inspired me to get C CXMB. This is pretty sick. <laughs> Alright. So that's what it is. It's called large icons for a reason. So down there on the bottom you can like, you know, do it. And then you press up and down to go through all the subcategories. And then you press right and left go through all the big ones. So that's, it's pretty sick. CXMB is a pretty cool experience for your PSP. It'll definitely uh, catch people's eyes. So if you're show off, this is definitely what you're going to want to get. <laughs> Alright, by the way guys, uh, this is a new feature that I've been putting in some of my new videos. After I'm done talking, the tutorial is done, I'll have like uh, three videos, like one here, one here, one here. And you can click onto either one. Those are like related videos to this tutorial. So leave a comment saying if you like that or not. And be sure to subscribe, rate 5 out of 5, and comment. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.